Hi guys, how is it doing? As many of you might know, I'm a third year student in the film and television production course in the University of Hertfordshire, and sometimes our lecturers send us emails of job opportunities. So, two weeks ago I received one of those emails. A production was offering two work opportunities to do a half day shoot with a small crew, expenses only, directed by a graduate from our course. They were looking for two runners, and for those of you that don't know what a runner is, is the person who runs errands in the set, like getting coffee for everyone, photocopies, and so on. So, as I was saying, they were looking for two physically fit runners, as the job would be very physical that day. I emailed the guy saying I was interested, and I got the job. So, the night before I went to bed at midnight, and obviously I couldn't sleep very well as I was very excited for the next day, I woke up at 6 a.m. and got ready in 10 to 15 minutes, then rushed to the taxi rank as I was a bit late and my colleague and the taxi driver were waiting for me. The taxi got us to the Edfield train station and we got the train to the Sainsbury Park station. It was a nice experience seeing the streets of London so early in the day. From the train station we got to the gas station where we finally got picked up by the guy who hired us and we went on a 30 minute drive to the Ashton playing fields, the location of the shoot. Unfortunately, from now on, I was not able to film the day as I was on duty. As soon as we got to the location, we started working immediately. We took the gear out from the car and while the crew was setting up, I went to grab breakfast for everyone. I opened the notes app on my phone and asked everybody what they wanted for breakfast. Even though we were a small crew, I couldn't memorize everyone's orders as they were not regular requests, like a sandwich ham with a coffee or a croissant with a orange juice. They were more like a chocolate cappuccino with almond milk cream and marshmallows with a vegan gluten-free vanilla cupcake or whatever other fancy stuff. I went to the nearest Costa Cafe and got everything from the list. Then I got 10 water bottles from Caja. At this point my hands were full with very heavy bags so I couldn't reach my phone to check Google Maps to find the way back. Luckily, I was able to go back without getting lost once, which was very good, since as I'm a runner, I need to run errands as fast as possible. Nobody likes to wait for their breakfast. When I finally arrived to the set, I just left the bags on top of the table of the breaking room, as my arms were very sore, and also because, as people were working, I thought I should just leave the food there, and people would get it when they stopped doing what they were doing. My employer corrected me right away, explaining to me that in the industry we are supposed to take the food directly to the person, and that I should first deliver the food to the starring cast, the director, and then the rest of the crew. This is something annoying to do, because most of the time everyone is working, so you just have to stand there with their food until they can give you a second of their intention and take the food from you. And sometimes people just take their coffee, making you have to stay there for an extra one or two minutes until they feel like taking their gluten-free uh, vegan raspberry cupcake, which is even more annoying. This day was for shooting a pickup scene of the main character running in a track, so my job for the day was to push a dolly to make shots like this. I had to run a lot, but we took very good shots. Some other tasks I had for the day were to regularly ask the actress if she wanted anything, such as a water bottle or her jacket, and to fetch hot water for her so she could splash it in her face to pretend she was sweating. We wrapped up at around 1.30 p.m. instead of the scheduled 12 o'clock, and the producer was kind enough to get us a taxi back to the university so we could get on time to our class. This was obviously a great experience for me, and I hope that in my third year of university I get the chance to have more work opportunities like this because you not only learn a lot, you also make new contacts in the industry and improve your CV, making you more employable. My advice for those who are thinking on having a job opportunity like this is to obviously be on time, be as useful as you can, be the fastest completing tasks as you can, be nice to everyone and be humble. Remember, everyone on the room will be more experienced than you and you are there to learn. At the end of the work, talk with your superiors and try to understand if they are happy with your work. If you feel like they enjoyed working with you, tell them or send them a message thanking them for the day 
and showing your availability to work for them again, and maybe you will be called again. Something I found interesting as well, and this goes to show how organized the English industry is, is that instead of me just directly asking for a refund on my train ticket, I had to email a receipt and make an invoice of my expenses. So that's it guys for this video, thank you so much for watching, if you have any questions make sure you comment them down below and make sure you subscribe. Thank you again and see you in the next video, bye!